So hello and welcome to another session of Talk with ECM. My name is Elizabeth. I'm the ECM of Talk with ECM. And today we're talking about Roadmap to Success. I have two guests here who have already gone through the free course, the free five-day course that I offer. And we're going to talk about it. How was their experience? And what is their Roadmap to Success? There may be some others joining us as the session continues, but for now, let's begin. Let's begin by introducing ourselves. I'll go first. I want you to say your name, country, and just a sentence or two about the roadmap to success. For the country, it can be where you live, where you're from, or maybe where your heart is. You can choose how to answer that. So I'll go first. My name is Elizabeth. I'm from the USA, but I live in Austria. Um, I hear some feedback. Maybe you want to mute your microphone when you're not speaking so we don't get the feedback. Thanks. And for Roadmap to Success, this is a course I'm really excited about and I'm really excited to talk with all of you today. So it looks like our, my first guest is Mahmoud from Egypt, I believe. Please introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Mahmoud Hazem. Uh, I'm graduate from the Faculty of Commerce. I'm, uh, I'm live in Egypt, uh, in Domiat, and, and I work as a accountant. Uh, I'm, uh, I want uh, my, my roadmap to success. I want to work and work in Canada. Uh, and uh, uh, and uh, I want to learn new, new other things uh, in, in life. That's all. Yes, I remember from your posts on the web pages, you have a very clear goal, which is, which is fantastic, you. because with that clear goal, it makes it easier to define the next steps to reach your goal. That's wonderful. Thanks for introducing yourself. And Dr. Valid, please introduce yourself. Okay, uh, thank you for uh, the, uh, giving me this chance to join your session. My name is Walid, uh, uh, I'm Egyptian, and uh, I'm happy to join your session to uh, follow my road uh, map to success in English. Actually, I, uh, I, I'm targeting to, uh, to have a score of 7.5 in IELTS uh, for many purposes. Uh, one of them maybe would be like uh, Mr. Mahmoud uh, uh, moving to Canada, if possible. Uh, uh, moreover, uh, actually, IELTS one of the uh, uh, good uh, ma road map to have improving my English for uh, using in my science uh, and uh, work with the students uh, uh, around me. Very good, thank you. And that's one thing I do ask everyone, please correct my pronunciation if I say your name wrong. It's your name and I want to say it correctly, so thank you for that. And I still hear some feedback, so someone has a microphone on. If you can turn or mute your microphone when you're not speaking, that makes it easier for all of us. Great. So. I think we noticed some similarities between both of you. You both want to take the IELTS, the IELTS exam, and you both have a clear idea of what score you want. And you're both connected with Egypt, so we have a lot of similarities here. Let's see what else. I have some questions for you before we begin with your questions. I want to ask you some questions to get this discussion going. So you both have a clear idea of what you want and a clear goal, which is fantastic. I really like that. In this course, it's a five-day course, what, what's one thing that you can say, yes, I got this. This is a new idea for me, and I'm glad I took this course. What are you taking away from the course that helps you? Uh one of the most important things that I have to clear the uh, uh, um, 
my statement mm -hmm. to have a clear statement is one is the first step to to reach this uh, to reach your goals uh, so that uh, I focus to to simplify my uh, my statement and to make it clear for everyone uh, uh, which uh, emphasize uh, why I am interested uh, in, uh, in English and joining this session. So, maybe, so this is one of the most, the most important things which I learned from your course. Excellent. That's a, that's a really important one. Thank you for answering that. And Mahmoud? Mahmoud. Mahmoud. Thank you Mahmoud. for correcting me. Mahmoud. Okay. Uh, what uh, one of the most important thing I learned from uh, from this uh, from this course is uh, is arranged my idea to to can reach my goals. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's great. So a little bit similar, arranging your ideas to reach your goals, rather than mm -hmm. having so many ideas that it's almost scary. It's arranging them in a clear way that you see the path. That's wonderful towards your goals. Really great stuff. So my next question is we had each day or in each lesson, I gave you action steps, daily action steps. Which action step, Mahmoud, did you find most helpful? Hello? Mahmoud? Well, he seems to not answer that one. So, Dr. Valid? Yes, uh, actually, yes. Uh, actually, when uh, uh, I try to answer your uh, question about uh, roadblocks, um, uh, it gave me an opportunity to express my feelings about the uh, uh, things which block me to reach my my target. Uh, to summarize, to summarize uh, these difficulties uh, in simple way and clear statements is not easy. No, uh, it's not easy at all because um, I have to clarify to the others. Uh, which kind of uh, um, difficulties which uh, uh, that I am trying to cross? Mm -hmm. Did I uh, uh, I already uh, recover them, uh, or I'm struggling to I still I am still struggling to uh, to uh, solve these problems? Um, to have a clear uh, idea about the, uh, with what means by uh, uh, roadblocks. Uh, and the definition of roadblocks is not easy. Uh, and I, uh, moreover, I, I got some experience from others uh, how they can fight with uh, their uh, difficulties and they recover uh, uh, these uh, kind of uh, uh, back rows, <laughs> uh, which make them weaker. And um, I think uh, in our life, um, um, the occasions around us like uh, water waves, sometimes high, sometimes low, uh, so that uh, the clever one who can uh, swim with the wave, uh, so that whatever it came high or came low, he can uh, swim with, with it. Yes. yes. I think uh, if, I, if I repeat back some of the things I heard from you, you said one, one of the most difficult, but maybe one of the most helpful action steps for you was thinking about those roadblocks. As, as, as humans, we all have them. We do. Yes. We have roadblocks. Yes. But how often do we stop and think about it? How often do we write about it? And how often do we write about it in another language? So this was really a challenging action step, but it sounds like you, you really looked deep into yourself and also you were able to read the comments from others, which is helpful because we're not alone. It's, it's things that we all struggle with. And 
hearing how other people face their challenges, overcome their challenges, or maybe even get ideas from other people how I can overcome my challenges is really helpful at times. Yeah. Ooh, I hear some funny noises. So thank you for that. I'm really glad that you had such a good experience with that. Let's see if Mahmoud has a comment about the action steps. Which action step was most helpful for you? I I'm sorry, I can't hear clear, but uh, I'm, I'm thinking I, I should leave now because I'm, I have something to come now. Okay, thank you for your time. Thank you for being here. This is a recorded session, so you will be able to go to the YouTube page and review it. I will send you the link. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Bye-bye. So that's unfortunate he can't be here with us any longer. So Dr. Valid, we'll continue discussing about your experience with the Roadmap to Success. So, you talked, mm -hmm. so we talked about which action steps you found most challenging and most helpful. They were the same one, it sounds like. Is that correct? Yes. Um, actually, uh, 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 whole of my life, uh, uh, um, whole of my life, I'm struggling with uh, with problems, mm -hmm. and sometimes I find it is kind of challenge uh, to overcome this problem, uh, and these problems sometimes give me more strength uh, to be more stronger. Maybe it is uh, after this. Uh, Challenges, uh, I came more uh, promoted to some positions because, <laughs> or uh, get new job. <laughs> uh, so that uh, even though uh, me and others, uh, if, for instance, see these uh, uh, difficulties or uh, roadblocks as something uh, uh, bad, but in fact, maybe, um, maybe you will recognize that this is one of the stones in the road to have a new road yes. to your success. <laughs> yes, I, I think you're right. Because as we face challenges or roadblocks and we find ways to overcome them or find a new way around them, we become yes, stronger, yes. don't we? We gain experience understanding if everything's easy what do we really learn maybe yes 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 uh, uh, the life will be boring <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps. Uh, actually yes yes actually sometimes <laughs> sometimes i am uh, thinking maybe i have to go to these people which I mentioned them, my enemies, <laughs> okay, to thank them because, for example, they, they, they enforce me to move from this place to another place at which I find a new job. <laughs> and my income increases, something like this. <laughs> yeah. so, or we learn problem solving skills. If we yes. never face any problems, when a problem comes, it would be the end of the world. Oh, a problem. Yes. Uh, so with each, as you said, these, these other forces and energies or enemies that come at you, each time you learn skills, how to deal with it, how to manage the situation. And I'm sure if your experience is like mine, we learn. Of course. And I also learn because I make mistakes. I make a lot of mistakes and then I can learn from my mistakes as well. Yes, of all of us doing mistakes every day, every moment. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If I don't, uh, if I want to stop doing mistakes, I have to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because while you're sleeping, you don't doing. But maybe that's a mistake too, because then we all miss out. So my next question for you, and this relates a little bit to a question you asked me earlier. So each day in this five-day course, I gave you an action step. 
My question for you is, what is your next action step? What will you do next now that the course is over? Okay, if uh, the course is, uh, is over, um, uh, this is one of uh, uh, my question to you that I, I, I will try to find something like uh, alternative media, like uh, bulb.im or any other one, okay? Uh, so that I uh, can interact with the people around me because uh, as you know, if I didn't uh, immerse myself in the English environmental media, um, it is not very helpful just to uh, rehearse some statements and some grammars and some vocab without applications, without application in, in some kind of interaction. I think this is uh, one of the uh, main goals of the having good uh, opportunity to interact with the people. So uh, I want to interrupt for one second and write down the place where you went before. You said it was blab.im, is that correct? Yes, I, I, I write it, yes, to you in the chat, yes. This is no longer in existence, unfortunately. No. But it was a really great site. And so it was a place where people could meet and discuss, oops, sorry, discuss issues and topics and talk about different things. And yes. many of the people were native English speakers, but many were not. And so it was a really nice meeting space. That's right. So you're looking for something like this. And before we started the session, you asked me for some ideas. You also yes. mentioned, yes. if I can repeat what you said, you also mentioned that you enjoy listening to the BBC. They offer programs where one can listen to podcasts and other recorded sessions. But you're not quite satisfied with yes. that because it's passive you're not actively engaging with someone, which is what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Good, and what else was in your question? Uh, yes, uh, so that uh, if something uh, like, uh, I want something, uh, two, two uh, media, one is video and the other is audio, mm -hmm. so that I can join audio whatever I want and whenever I want, and the other, uh, the, uh, scheduled uh, video, of course, I join with the others to interact with them mm -hmm. uh, so that I will have some kind of two opportunities. Uh, I, one of these sites, I think it's called Fire Talk, but I, I, joined, I joined this just a few days ago, but it is not like. Okay. Robert, well, I can't give you any so, specific uh, recommendations. At this point, I'm working on something myself. I want to develop a platform where people can meet and discuss. Oh, there's Fire Talk. Thank you for putting that as well. Yeah, so I think this is a valid question. It's an important question that many people in the same position as you have, where we're learning a lot about this language, but we're looking for a place to use it in a practical environment. So. I'm looking for that, you're looking for that, so stay tuned and we'll have some answers about that question. Unfortunately, I can't answer that today. Sorry. Before, okay. I would say Blab, but Blab is gone. So I am looking as well. As you said, there are lots of uh, offers, but I can't, I can't give a recommendation yet. I don't have enough experience myself. I do have another question for you though. So this was a free course, and as I remember, you took it in the past, and then you took it again. You came back to us and took it again. Yes, because, because yes, because uh, I missed your uh, uh, live session, this uh, wonderful uh, chance to interact with the people, especially with you, and to share my, uh, 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 to have a chance to speak uh, 
uh, with others and uh, improve my English mm -hmm. and correct my pronunciation. Um, because rarely I can find a chance like this to yeah. interact with the people and speak in English. So it was um, definitely worth coming back. Uh, yes. Uh, of course, in future, if, if you will do it again, I will join again if you don't mind. Before, <laughs> I don't uh, mind. From, from time, uh, uh, okay, because from time to time, um, as soon as other people join, maybe one, one of the guys can give me an idea which uh, lost it in my mind yes. and can help me a lot. Yeah, I agree. So sharing experience. Uh, sharing experience with others is, is very good uh, a chance to share the experiences and um, get uh, more uh, ideas how to improve our English. Absolutely. Uh, this is one thing. Uh, uh, do you have a kind of blogs or uh, WhatsApp group or some kind of Skype group, something like this, do you have? At this point, no. At this point, group? I have my website, which I believe you already have. It's talkwithecm.com. This is my website, and I have the emails that I send out regularly. So, yeah, I started on Blab, and it's de I'm developing it as I go and, and learn from people like you and exactly what you're looking for so that we can – Think about what's the best thing, what's missing from the plethora of things that are offered online. In fact, that's my last question for you. We only have a few minutes left. And my question for you is, this is a free course. It didn't cost anything. Well, it costs your time and your effort. And as you said, some of the steps were really challenging. So it does, does cost time and effort, but it doesn't cost yeah. money. So my question for you is, how does this free course compare to other free courses? Oh, uh, this is a very hard question. <laughs> um, uh, this, uh, compared to the others, actually, uh, it, it depends. If you are comparing about the uh, uh, way of contacting people or uh, interact uh, interaction with the people uh, 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 the free session is the the free live session is one of the most important sessions in your uh, five days course this is one number one number two uh, other uh, free courses which are offered uh, on the internet maybe uh, have kind of uh, uh, free um, groups, interacting group groups, uh, which is a very good idea. Also like Skype, mm -hmm. for example, the organizer, for example, like you, make th that group and give us schedule, okay? Uh, for example, Friday or whatever it is, at blah, blah, this time, and we gather uh, all the people, and uh, she or he manage uh, uh, give us the rules how we uh, uh, about the, this session and give us like you uh, some kind of questions and listen the answers from each of us okay and after the answer he, he give kind of questions. Uh, no no need to be uh, uh, via video audio is enough Mm -hmm. uh, so that's well, this is one of opportunities uh, which can facilitate to uh, many to interact because some people are busy yeah. and have no time to open Skype or uh, video or prepare themselves to be show on the video or camera. Uh, this is one of the uh, others, uh, of course, using um, WhatsApp. And they send, for example, uh, uh, a file with 10 questions mm -hmm. and asking for uh, answers. And we answer them uh, and we send and he uh, mentioned the answer and yeah. the comment. 
So this is another uh, facility. These are uh, um, the most uh, announced uh, interactive uh, courses which I have joined uh, uh, this uh, this year. I think. Mm -hmm. Great, thank you for that comparison. It's really informative. Super. Thank you. Well, we're just about out of time. Um, so I want to thank you oh, again for your time for being here. And I also want to thank Mahmoud, even though he's had to leave early. But I'm really glad we could all yes. meet today and discuss these things. But before we go, I want to give you just a moment or two just to say any closing words that you'd like to say to listeners or other learners who are considering taking the course or any experience you have from this that you'd like to share. So just a minute of closing words. Okay. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Mrs. Elizabeth for this wonderful sessions, which give us an opportunity to interact with each other and with the, our teacher, Mrs. Elizabeth. And number two, uh, uh, the organizer uh, uh, is very evident uh, the, the, uh, and they give uh, a clear statement about uh, how the course is going on. And uh, the organization is very good. Um, I encourage everyone to join your, uh, your sessions uh, because uh, it's clear for us uh, how, to state, uh, how to put a statement for our goals and uh, how to uh, fight our uh, uh, roadblocks uh, mm -hmm. to reach our aims. Those are great words. Thank, Thank you for you. that. Yeah. And I'd Thank like to offer... You. Thank you. And I'd like to offer a closing, closing statement as well. For me, it's always a, a tremendous experience for me to watch people, learners like you, go through the course each day and struggle because there are some really tricky and difficult questions that ask people to look deep inside and be honest about their situation. And it's really remarkable to me how well people do with this, especially when it's in all in English. So it, it does require some effort and people do face that challenge, rise to the challenge and do an excellent job. I'm always so excited for the end of the course when we talk about it and I get to hear what people have learned what they were able to take from the course and how they're going to continue and go on with their English learning. I find this very exciting and inspiring. So I'm really glad we had the chance to talk today and I wish you all wonderful futures as you continue to learn English. So thank you again, my name is Elizabeth and this is the end of the session of talking about the roadmap to success.